short stream. We're going to be just chatting and playing some 5 plus 3. Casual. With um, Troll on a Roll. Shiver Spieler technically got in the first challenge, but I can't accept strong players for the first game. Unacceptable. <clears throat> it's just too embarrassing to lose when I just woke up. I need a warm-up game. Troll will serve the purpose. Welcome, guys. Astrobate. King Marcher, Shiver Spieler Troll. What's up, guys? <clears throat> All right, I am not ready for this yet. I had bad sleep last night again. I started taking melatonin. It seemed like the first night it helped, but last night it didn't. Nothing, nothing would help. I had a long game yesterday. I got home kind of late, and then. Um, got to bed kind of late and when I finally went to sleep I don't know I just couldn't get to sleep again maybe I was just kind of wound up <clears throat> we're gonna take the challenge control first guys again just one hour stream what's up Shiver Spieler so you said you weren't gonna play in a, in a tournament right I'm hearing this weird vibrating sound, but I don't know if it's from outside or from my fan. I have to like keep the windows closed in my in my office because the ambulances and and mosquitoes are just devastating. Last night I went to sleep with earplugs and the window closed, and I could still hear. <clears throat> I could still hear ambulances outside. It's crazy. The middle of the night with earplugs and the windows closed and you can hear the ambulances in the distance. It's like being in a war zone. Chess players are too sensitive. Impressive prep by you. Maybe I'll get another ion norm. I hadn't thought about it, Shiver Spiller. It's been a long time since I made an ion norm. It's a good point. I might be able to do it. I didn't even know what the ion norm is, actually. <clears throat> It's a good question. So how many points less than a GM norm should an IM norm be? Like two? Two points less or something? I would assume, I don't know, maybe maybe one and a half? What's the difference? I'm not really sure. Princess Chess 6464, do you have two Twitch accounts? Or is it just my imagination? I guess it's always been 6464. Six, Were there always two 64s? In any case, good morning. <clears throat> you missed the beginning. Sorry if I'm redundant. Is the GM tournament going all right? Um, it's all right. I'm fine. I no longer can make a GM norm after yesterday's draw. But to be frank, I never thought it was really possible. Seven points out of nine was just too much. I mean, there's. I don't think anybody's even going to get seven points overall in the tournament at, at all. Um, it's just impossible, virtually impossible. This one guy did it in the tournament I played two years ago, but he was extremely lucky. That was a tournament where Esterman came to Lake Balaton. Well, didn't come. He was supposed to play and then didn't play. The category got knocked down, and it was the same like this. It was supposed to be like a higher category. Somehow the guy miraculously had like five wins and four draws, but that's extremely difficult. Um, so I never, you know, honestly was going to go crazy to try to make a GM norm. If I got lucky, I got lucky or something, but that would be about it. Chance. But seven out of nine is like impossible. <clears throat> Yesterday on you played on title Tuesday, scored five out of five with white and half out of six with black. You know, was it one zero or three zero? I would think like in bullet like color would be almost meaningless. But in three zero okay, three plus one. Wow, three plus one, have they done that before? 
Do they ever have a five zero title Tuesday? Oh, it's chess.com. I'm thinking of the tournament here. Right, right. The evil chess site, I should say. I hate it. No, it's ugly. I hate the people that own it. You know, I just hate chess.com. Seven out of nine. You need plus five to get a GM norm. Yeah, I, I was surprised. I honestly thought with my crappy rating, my my opponents would be slightly higher average. Maybe I would even need less. I suppose if I if if like one's rating were low enough, maybe like you might be able to qualify with six and a half. I'm not really sure. I haven't done the math on it. Sometimes that's the case. Because your rating factors into the average of the tournament. If I was like two thousand, maybe um, it would be different. Yeah, but it's not, not realistically possible. I'm just trying to play my best. I don't care. But the one thing I rise from this tournament is that, you know, I played a lot of weak tournaments in the last couple of years. And, um, not only do I play better when I play stronger players, but it's better for me, you know, but it's like, I don't have a lot of luxury um, because of my life, the way it's been in the last couple of years, uh, I've been very, very busy with responsibilities and, um, and now with the pandemic, I mean, it's like, you don't have a choice, too many choices where you can play. I'm not going to complain about getting a chance to play in the GM norm during, during the COVID pandemic. It's a good opportunity. But in general, if the thing ever ends and I want to play chess seriously, I've got to make an effort to to not play weaker tournaments, try to play stronger stronger players on a regular basis. That's one of the reasons my rating has gone down. Constantly playing players with an average rating like below my own. Plus I have a, sil a solid style anyway with a tendency toward a lot of draws. And if that's your style, then you know, you're going to do better if you play higher rated players than lower. But anyways, <clears throat> we're doing all right. I had a tough game with, with yesterday. My opponent played d4. You know, I wasn't really prepared for him to play d4. But one of our friends here, Mr. Jim, I had a brief chat with him before my game yesterday. And Jim was saying, you know, he might play d4 against you. I was like, you know what? You're right, like there's a chance he could. And then he did. I wasn't really properly prepared for that. Camel culture. Camel culture's here? Castles. Castles, yeah, castling into the attack. If that's what it looks like, which way? Yeah, Troll is really strong in Chess 960. Don't pay attention to his rating. Don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain. Yeah, this sucks. This position just sucks. Black's just better. This is why I hate playing this guy in Chess 960. He's like an expert. I don't feel safe about casting Kingside with his sort of mobile pawn phalanx there. It looks like he could just kind of do a Kingside pawn storm. Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim ironically suggested my opponents yesterday was going to play d4. Could, and he was right. He was right, and I wasn't well prepared for d4. I luckily, like, I was just lucky that I found a line that wasn't, wasn't a total disaster. You yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. He's doing it anyway, even without me castling over there. Maybe I'll castle queenside. Now the center is just, like, rolling. This is awful for white. <clears throat> I'm kind of pessimistic by nature, but I think that my position is worse. No, no. Well, the average Grandmaster wouldn't score 7 out of 9, but the Grandmaster norm is not an average Grandmaster result. I mean, it's meant to be above the average. The average 2600 would score 6 out of 9, 7 out of 9. 
I mean, the Grandmaster Performance Storm is, is 2,600. That's far above the average for Grandmasters. The average Grandmaster is probably like, the average Grandmaster rating is probably something like 25, 30. If you averaged all the Grandmasters in the world. So, it's, it's not 2,600. I mean, 2,600 is like a strong, it's a strong GM. Seven out of nine is an extremely dominant performance. Maybe I'll castle queen side into the B file. This troll guy, Trollio. I have no time. I'm just gonna make random moves here. That pawn looks a little weak, conceivably. Guys, how did the tournament go? Aldista won our Tuesday Blitz tournament yesterday while Schieberspieler was playing in the in the evil chess site. On the evil chess site. Astrobate, how did you do? Good thing that my K factor is relevant. I mean, don't get me started about K factors. I think that it's bogus. Objectively, there's no need for three K factors. There should be like one sort of provisional K factor and then, you know, then you get a normal K factor. I don't see why there should be three, honestly. <clears throat> it just drives me crazy that like little kids have this 40 K factor and they can change the rating by like 100 points in one tournament. It's ridiculous. Aldista won the tournament with 8 out of 8. I saw that. So it was just 8 rounds because there wasn't enough players. I didn't set it for 8 rounds, right? That had to be a limitation in the number of players? I hadn't thought about it. It never occurred before. So how many players do you need to have 9 rounds? Well, I guess a lot of people dropped out, right? That's the problem. It's not just like there were 15 players. Maybe like half of them dropped out halfway through the tournament. What do you mean paused, Astrobate? <clears throat> Did you guys play Princess Chess? Speaking of not feeling well, there was this German guy, Gungle, in my tournament who's like supposedly had fever two days ago. So everyone is sort of like holding their breath, like what's going on? There's no precedent or I don't know what's supposed to happen. Nobody's like, there's like five. I was talking to my opponent, Kozak Adam, yesterday. And both of us are wearing masks every round. And he's a professional. I mean, we're like, I can't believe that these people aren't required to wear masks during a tournament. It's like a sporting event. According to like the Hungarian, like, you know, health protocol or whatever, probably everybody should be required to wear a mask. But the organizers like doing nothing about it. It's just... It's ridiculous. <clears throat> I was joking that it's only the Grandmaster tournament where people are wearing masks. That's why we're higher rated. Well, only four of them. There's a total of 34 players in the tournament and only four of them or five of them are wearing masks. One of them is the highest rated player in the tournament. The other one is me. And then the one guy from Vietnam who understands like what a pandemic is. And one other player. People are just inherently so stupid. 
It's unbelievable. Man, that's a good move. Gloves at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, the gloves may or may not be necessary. I see some people with gloves. You know, I think it's... It's, um... Not an issue. Well, the first tournament, it bothered me when I did it in August. It was annoying me, but um, but I'm used to it now. You just kind of have to get used to it. Wow, look at Troll. Fourteen hundred. 99. Got him on the run now. It's probably still equal. My e pawn being backward in the night. Nice maneuver. Knight coming to e4. Lose on time. He's still okay here. I don't think that white is much better. Queen F7, F3. I have a backward pawn as well. We don't know much about troll. I mean, it's like not enough space. The boards are too close together. It would violate every rule of, of like, the law according to the state about restaurants. Or, like, if, if my chess tournament was a restaurant, like, the tables would be too close together. Something like that. I mean, it's if somebody has COVID in the tournament, I mean, it's almost like no way that the other people aren't going to get it. You're you're sitting with these people. It's and it's not like you're there forty five minutes. You're like there for for five hours. The arbiter, none of the the people involved in the chess tournament. It's really bad. Anyway. We'll just hope for the best. 57. I always imagined Troll was younger. He's almost... He's 20. No, I'm not revealing my age. Wow, we had exactly five inaccuracies, both of us. 22 cent upon loss to 25. Look at his, his classic Troll advantage in the opening. After like move six, I'm clearly worse. This happens to me every game. I play chess 960. All right, guys and girls. Dottore mio, um, I don't do that time control or rated games, so we're going to cancel that. Anyway, Shiver Spieler, Princess Chess Morales, and then Krapnik. Everybody is, um, is it Weird Wednesday? It's normal Wednesday. We can do Weird Wednesday if you want. It's uh, everything is possible. Let's make it weird. It's just an hour. Okay, so um yeah, this is I played last against Yarrow Book two weeks ago and uh after all those games with Jim, I've been kinda of frustrated with my approach. Zara Book or whatever his name is. Um Yaroslav Zara Book or whatever. I think I played b3, knight f6, bishop g2, g6 against him. It seems like the most solid thing to do. But it is weird Wednesday then, that we have to play something original. Kind of hard to come up with something original. Why don't I just play c5 against b3 in the first place, you know? It's like... I don't know why I never do that. Since I played the Sicilian all my life, it would be completely normal to just play c5. Now, I don't do crazy house. I mean, I haven't in 25 years in chess. <clears throat> I've thought about it, but I'm not sure it would be good for my game. So, anyways, what do we do? F5, the Dutch. So 
So now we have two approaches, e6 or d6, or maybe knight c6 with the idea of e5. d6, e6. I was thinking of e6. It's basically... Um, I guess I could play knight f6, though. Like, taking is not a big deal anyway. Shouldn't be. Shiverspieler is fast. <clears throat> well, yeah, we, we, we're toying with the idea of changing the name to Fun Wednesday, but that's kind of boring. I was worried about copyright infringement with Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> but, um, seriously, there was some children's book when I was a little kid. Some title like that. Weird, weird Wednesday. I don't remember now. But, um, what are we going to do here? I'm just kidding. I don't think the copyrights and infringement applies to Twitch stream titles, but, uh, who knows? Knight F3, maybe it would. Don't think Dr. Seuss would mind. Wacky Wednesday, that's what it is. You're actually right. Wait, maybe it was Wacky Wednesday, not Weird Wednesday. You know, now that you mention it, Zen Chess, are you down with Dr. Seuss? Maybe it was. But Fun Wednesday just doesn't cut it, Astrobate. That sort of isn't going to do it. I don't know, man. I don't want to play e6 that much. d6 now, and bishop takes f6 looks good. So what are my options here? Knight c6? Just not committing myself yet. And c4, of course. Sheba Spiller is sort of cheating. He's not really playing weird opening. He's he's playing his beloved knight f3, c4 in a different way. Not a truly weird opening. He's turning the weird opening into his normal opening as the game progresses. <laughs> um, all right. I don't know. Whatever. Just Fianchetto. Wild Wednesday. Yeah, that's a better suggestion. That's a better suggestion. I like that. But that, that has connotations of, of chess variants, which is dangerous. I'll get all these like chess variant people. What do you mean, Wild Wednesday? You're not even playing Crazy House. Where's my knight going from c6? Now we could be in deep shit. Oh man, that could be a problem. Oh, it'll have to go back to b8. Yeah, maybe it's not such a big deal. Right, right. It's me being ICC oriented. ICC took my, my online chess virginity. I just can't get it out of my mind. I played on ICC for like... 1995 till 2000, from 95 to 2015. So that's 20 years of playing an ICC primarily. When it was internet chess server in, in around 1994, I think I started before it was even ICC. We have to go back to B8. But all the suggestions are welcomed. I'm going to get crushed on the king side if I'm not careful here. Addicted to time pressure.
maybe this is a mistake. But then again, no. If d6 I had knight e4, I was mildly considering, mildly considering, mildly concerned. Wow, Camel Culture was two years old in 2000. What? <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. All right, whatever. That's scary. And Camel Culture is an adult. Sort of. So what am I doing here? I thought it was my move. This is the longest Shiver Spieler. What? Castles, Queenside? What? The longest he ever thought on a move, I think. Having a nice day? This blocks my A pawn, I guess. Never ever play queen a5. That's my anti-Feingold rule. f6 is a far better move than queen a5, which is almost always bad. I'm the anti-Feingold. But, um, yeah, it's scary that you say that now, chemical trick, because I meet so many people like an example is one of my opponents from today's tournament. Um, my opponent from two days ago, Baron Sish David. The guy, like I started playing him in 2005 when he was like a teenager, a young teenager, let's say. So when I started playing him, he was like 13 and now he's like 28 or something. It's really, really weird. It's just really, really weird to feel that like, damn, I knew this person. It's the same person, but he's, like, in a different body. It's the weirdest sensation. And not seeing him that much over that, that period of time makes it kind of weirder. Extra weird. Actually, Sheeper Spieler loves trading queens. Spieler Sheeper. He managed to get a slight strategic pull. Tectonic plate. He was very accurate that they takes f6 check because he didn't want me to take on d5 and block his long diagonal. Now he's protecting f2, but that is kind of a weird move. Weirdly brilliant. <clears throat> I think it's equal. Never castle unless you have to. Heard it here first. Man, I had the best preparation for my opponent yesterday, Schieber Spieler. We totally expected symmetrical English, and he knew that, that, that I knew that he knew that I expected him to play the symmetrical English. We would have had an awesome and interesting game had it been a symmetrical English. But that preparation will remain. That preparation will remain for later, a later date. I just mentioned this because Shiver Spieler plays a similar repertoire to Kaza Kozak and myself with a lot of Englishes. <clears throat> but that's the advantage when you play against someone who plays openings similar to yourself. I was hoping he would play the English because I know it so well for both colors. Did I already talk about the tournament? Um, not too much. I have 50% out of five rounds, three, three draws, two wins, no, three draws, a win and a loss. Sorry. Three draws with the GMs. I beat an FM and lost to the stronger I am. I can't make a GM norm. It's it's impossible now. The maximum I can get is six and a half out of out of nine. 
But I think six would be a very good result. Even five and a half. Right now I have two and a half out of five. Five and a half would be an excellent score. I have four rounds to go. But I do play three of the weaker players. So, technically, actually, I play the three weakest players. Yeah, I have played maybe the strongest field. I have the best tie breaks after five rounds. I played the three GMs and the strongest non GM. So, I definitely have by far the best tie breaks. A6 may be a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. Going for an active break against Sheeper Spieler. Here we go. Risky. My original plan was to like blockade, but I'm trying something more active now. He sees everything. The high seas. I bring meaning to the word groveling. For the love of groveling. In game grinder. This game will fill up the whole stream. It'll be like 30 minutes. 5 plus 3, 30 minute game. 227 moves. Here we go.
probably losing. Doesn't look great. <clears throat> I'm only down three pawns. I can't take it anymore. Just put me out of my misery. Look at his score recently. Win, win, loss, win, win. Just totally started to crush me. Whew, that was that was rough. That ending was rough. I'm I'm really struggling here in this. I knew I never should have tried to play B five. A, a sort of normal seeming break. The engine says I'm equal here, wow. I thought I was worse. I missed my opportunity to play e5, apparently. Play too passively. <clears throat> Alright, you have me on the clock. You get me on the clock, I have no time to... to play, um... No, but I mean, I have to play optimally here. See, this is... this is the kind of position where it's like... Okay, the engine says that black is equal. But when is black equal? Like, if black plays like a computer perfectly, you can run like 10 simulations of, of a chess game. <clears throat> the only one where black's truly equal here is where black plays perfectly. And the other nine, like, black is slightly worse. It's not a true evaluation of, of how it should be viewed by a human, you know? I think that this is hard for black, much harder for black than white. Even though the engine is claiming like 0.1 advantage here to white to black, in reality, I don't know, man. I mean, visually it looks like black is worse. There has to be some like one specific variation where I'm playing for e5. If I don't do that, I'm just, I'm just worse. But you're doing the h5 thing, you know. That's the problem. That's why I lost, because you're playing h5, and eventually your rook comes over here and I die, you know. I have no active resources to combat that plan of the h5 break other than what the computer is suggesting here e5. I just didn't realize the e5 really did anything but I can see you know the point would be to play e5 and get my knight to e6 and then I improve my position. All right good game. Princess chess. Yeah I'm not sure about exchanging rooks. I think the rooks are good to keep on the board. Generally, exchanging pieces is, is good when you're worse. Um, but um, I would prefer to trade the minor pieces. Rook in games tend to be drawn more often than, than other in games. Congratulations to Schieber Spieler. He is a great player. But I think white's advantage there, consisting of the space with with the h4, h5, and the bishop versus knight. So the closed Sicilian. No, I don't think if you exchange the rooks, the white's advantage is bigger. In fact, again, there was a game in the IM tournament with a game like this. I would say mostly that um, 
Well, as Dorfman talks about in his his chess book, the tandem of pieces like the rook and bishop is cons considered to be better than rook and knight. Like they work together better. Okay, this is just kind of an experimental setup for black. Playable. I just want a place to put my queen here. If knight d4, bishop d4, pawn d4, is that a problem? Possibly. I mean, you can play an open Sicilian if you want to. Well, yeah, I mean, trading rooks isn't easy to do if you wanted to. Of course. Well, it would take forever to maneuver my rook to the C file to exchange it for your rook or something. That takes like four moves, at least. But I think the pawn structure is the most important feature of the position. And getting an e5 would obviously cause a major tectonic shift in the position. Either I get a knight to e6 and chip away at his f4, or he gives up his f4, and then his g5 pawn is weak. So e5 is like structurally favorable for me. Just play h5. Never a castle. 98, knight d6. Didn't occur to me. I saw a recent game like this. Similar. Oof. Gotta be careful of e5. That's alright though. Knight f2. Wow. Knight h1. Chess is fun. And then you die. But, um, not all of us have such a positive outlook. Why am I doing this again? Guys, I only have time for like one more game after this. Camel Culture challenged me to chess 960. I wish I could stay longer. So, I was saying to Asturbate today to be more positive. <laughs> He's always saying these like self-deprecating comments. <clears throat> Short stream Wednesday, just because I have to prepare for my games this week. Things will be back to normal on Sunday. You have to sack the exchange there. I mean, I'm really rolling the dice. Even allowing that exchange sacrifice. After rook e4, pawn e4, queen e4. It's possible that white is is like better. 
Maybe not, but I have to be super careful. Rook c8, queen g6 check, king f8. Bishop d5. I am not real happy about that. That seriously may just be winning for white. I think it's pretty, pretty powerful stuff. So at the end of the day, material is equal. The boringest player ever. Funny that you should say that. <laughs> I play the London system, the Slav, and the Karo Khan. He's like the Hungarian version of Vladimir Bermakin. Um, but I like Vlad. But he's legit. Strong player. Chicken wins tournaments? Does Bonica say that? That's funny. Because Bonnie, Bonnie doesn't seem like a chicken. The only blitz game I ever remember playing against him was just like psycho aggressive. He played psycho aggressive with white in the queen's gambit. <clears throat> but maybe that's his way of saying that bravery doesn't pay. The materialistic master. Princess Chess lost focus. It is early in the morning there. She wanted to take the H file, but not not put the king on the exposed square G two. It's early in the morning. But I'm, I'm curious how bad that exchange sack was for me. I, I My instincts told me not to even allow it, but I didn't really have another choice. Never give up your white square bishop. Exactly, that's why you should have sacked the exchange. The bishop's much stronger than a rook there. Well, you know, I think there has been a general movement toward robotic play more and more but if you look at Carlson he's not exactly an inspiration for creativity um, but my opponent today is like insipid he's just like a trained robot um, but still I don't want to disrespect him he's solid you know if I start treating him like he's a weak player I'll probably lose I have to respect but I still don't have to like it, you know. I don't like the way he plays. I was like cringing when I watched him play a short draw with the London system with white yesterday. Ugh. What's the point? It's almost like you're pretending to play chess. But um, Mad Ramos knows a little bit about creativity. You are fairly creative. But anyway, let's see if you sack the exchange there. I mean, I'm just in trouble, it looks like. Speaking of just a Rapport, black is better here according to the engine, but I hesitated a bit. And so this, see, you got it. I mean, it's not even a question. You have to sack the exchange here. Rook takes. Pawn takes, queen takes. I was concerned I was worse. I was going to play rook c8 and it just loses. Actually, every move loses except for king f7. Which intuitively looks dangerous because I'm putting the pawn, the pawn. 
I'm putting my king on a white square where I don't have a white square bishop. But luckily I can play e6. What happens if rook e1? It's not enough. So basically, Princess Chess, you have to sack the exchange here, if nothing else, as a defensive sacrifice. All right, guys. I've got only time for one more game. So we'll catch you guys, the other guys, later. Especially Camel Culture. Thanks for coming by, man. Unfortunately, I have just a short stream. So I got to go get ready for the, the robot. Um... The good thing about preparing for a robot is like you know exactly what they're going to play. Robots are very easy to prepare for. My whole game is based on anti-preparation. Yesterday my opponent was totally preparing for me to play the Queen's Indian Bogo and I played the modern defense. My preparation sucks, so the best I can do is to destroy your preparation. If I can destroy your preparation, you know, I'm halfway there. At least then we're on even ground, which is where I was yesterday with Kozak. But Shiva Spiller, you're, you're like, you're like Mikhail Tal compared to today's opponent. All right, the guy has a good score. Um, one, one thing that happens to a lot of players though is that people tend to underestimate them until they get to a certain level. So they have good results until people start taking them seriously. This is an unusual line. Um, Well, I mean, your openings are much sharper. And you're much more creative. So knight takes f6, e takes f6. You play more dynamic positions. The guy plays one pawn structure. How can you play one pawn structure and be like a fide master or an IM? I don't think he was ever 2400, um, but he got really close, so they gave him the title, the sort of Anna Rudolph thing. If you get close to 2400, we'll give you the title, but um, literally to be a master and play one pawn structure, that's kind of messed up. I just always hated like dull, dull style. You played the English. I mean, the English is a hyper modern opening. It's much more interesting than, than the London system. So G takes. I mean, E takes F six here. And I can't make fun of you because I play the same stuff. But. Um, where do we put our bishop? I've had bishop takes f6 before. I don't think I've ever faced e takes f6. But this line isn't really respected. Maybe he is better off just taking with the pawn. I've had games with bishop takes f6, bishop h6. But um, one of my YouTube videos on my channel is this, my bet most popular video is this game where Adams played with white after knight f6, e5. Knight f6, e5, knight e4, that variation. That's the way you're supposed to play, Antonio. I don't think there's another really good line here. I guess this is playable, but slightly worse for black. Maybe it's not that bad. 
You're supposed to play... You're supposed to play knight f6 without exchanging pawns on e4. He plays the dragon door and knight c3 with white. That would be cool. I've only seen one pawn structure. Well, I never played him, but I mean, it's always seeming pretty boring. Whatever. Hey, yeah, maybe you have a good game now. I thought queen b6. What are you trying to do? Bishop takes h3? You're going to sack a piece? Huh. Maybe black's better than I thought here. Bishop h3 is kind of dangerous. And I don't know what to do. I put my bishop on the wrong square or what? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. Maybe I can redeploy. I really don't know what to do. He has five minutes left. You're supposed to challenge me to five plus three. What is the six plus three? Shiba Spiller, do you think I'm going to play e4 today? I might have to play e4 to avoid the London system reversed. Even the Cairo Khan is better than that. Exchange Slav. I feel like I'm, I'm going to miss some sort of tactic here. Bishop is unprotected. But I don't know, Antonio. You seem to, to play this like it's a real thing. E takes f6. How bad can it be? I mean, it's similar to that normal Karo Khan line. Is this actually... Well, you know, your bishop's on the, the weird place on g7. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad for black, though. My knight on h2 is ridiculous. I'm hoping for a king and pawn endgame. So you think it's okay? Never really had anyone good play this against me. Queen g3? But this makes sense. Rook e2. I could play g4. That's mental. That can't be good. It is possible, but it's doubtful. I was looking at queen g3. You could play f4 anyway. <sighs> yeah, honestly, I don't know what to do. Try to trade pieces. So this is a line. Knight f6. Yeah, I mean, everyone I ever played, and that's like two games maximum, has played bishop takes f6. I thought that might be a move. Hmm. 
Frankly, it looks like I have nothing here. Possibly less than nothing. I don't know how I won my last seven games against Morales. That doesn't seem right. He's had enough. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just not even equal. You wouldn't be surprised if you don't face C6 setups today. I would be surprised, but I guess you probably know my opponent better than me. So, I mean, if this guy was seriously trying for a GM norm, I would think that he would try to beat Galyash with white if he needs to win like all his games. He like gives Gayash a quick draw. Gayash who's totally out of it. Was very phased by losing the previous day. I don't know. It seems like he's happy to just make an IM norm or something. I guess I understand the feeling. We've got to be careful now. I could be worse here. He just seems happy to to draw or beat you if if you if you don't want to draw if you overpress. I'll have to see how he beat Mendonca. I don't understand what happened there. I didn't see it. I probably should look at his games from this tournament if I can find them. He did beat the guy. Very impressive win. The one game that the Mendonca lost. But it's a style where that's what you do. You know, you play solid, and if the opponent goes too far, I play like that to a certain extent. I guess everybody does. But it's interesting that you say that, Shiver Spieler, because almost every game he plays is a C6 setup. Maybe you have some some more information. It's secret inside information. Black is fully fully equalized. Maybe black is better. Impressive game by me. The sniffles defense. Am I sniffling? Could be the first signs of COVID. No, there's guinea pig allergies in play. All right, so white is better here. I don't think so, but um, this this is a real variation. You're correct. I didn't think it was even that good, but you're right. There's even recent games, Wei Yi Nakamura. It's the Wei Yi variation. With all the recent interest in the E takes F6, Karo Khan, I guess this is popular as well. So bishop c4, castles, castles is forced. What did I do wrong? Knight d7, and I played c3. 
This snatch remove apparently is a mistake. It definitely weakens my white squares. Move 10. Played by Kaposhta Miklos. Not the best. Recommendation. Um, so something else. Rookie one is universally played. Larry Mark. 2009. Just American players. Joel Benjamin, Larry Mark, and Enrico. But, um, man, it's like, it looks really solid, actually. That's a, that's annoying. Yeah, maybe Bishop d3 should be considered by the look of it. No, this is better than I thought. All right, good choice by Morales. Much more solid than I thought. Okay, guys, I got to go. We'll be back on Sunday. We're going to have regular streams on Sunday. Team battle and Sunday simul this week as the stream comes back to normal schedule. Thanks for the inside information. We'll see you guys on Sunday. And yeah, thanks for subscribing and being part of the stream, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, support the stream. Be the first gift subber now. Thanks, Camel Culture, for stopping by. Sorry I didn't have time to, to play you. We'll get you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh. Have a great night.